good morning good afternoon uh, or good evening uh, depending upon what what time you are watching this video so hello to all my next fell work from home warriors uh, the reason i call you my warriors because i know that you are fighting we all are fighting this battle in this moment of crisis we are fighting the battle at home and also at work and also some of you may have i hope everybody is healthy and safe and none of you or your family or friends is impacted by the covid-19 health crisis so uh, i want to touch base with you all i wish i could do it face to face which no longer is possible at least for near foreseeable future um and which i really miss you know talking to you interacting with you trying to understand your problems and solving it on 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 a on face to face basis but unfortunately uh, you know we'll live with this for now so what i'm going to cover today is about uh the, the whole scenario of working from home what what are the advantages and the disadvantages and what are the do's and don'ts while you work from home uh this hope i hope this will help you to manage your your daily um, responsibilities your labor bills and at the end of the day you know we all uh will come out of this eventually but one thing i really want to uh tell you all that our clients and in return we we all have placed a lot of trust on you our clients all these years we have been this is our 11th year in operations and all these years we never had any opportunity none of our clients actually allowed us to work from home but in this moment of crisis they have put tremendous trust and faith on us to be able to deliver seamlessly while working from home so i think we should first take a moment and respect that trust and faith being put on us by our clients and also by the management so to start uh, with that i would like to uh, you know give you a little bit of glimpse about what are the positives and negatives about working from home uh, i know that some of you may be happy to work from home some of you may not be happy um i personally feel you know you have to uh, you have to take the moment as it comes and uh, it's always glass is half full for me and we should all uh, live with that philosophy in our lives so uh, but i anyways i think i still would like to kind of you know give you a little glimpse of of what are the shortcomings and also the advantages uh, there are a lot of advantages you know working from home obviously one of them being the flexibility that you get while working from home um uh, also and the biggest advantage we all know is um uh, the time that we save in commuting on a daily basis and city like bangalore this is a big blessing of working from home we save anywhere from 2 to 3 hours um i'm pretty sure in calcutta as well i i know and i'm i'm aware that a lot of people um do come from far off places taking the local trains so and they spend anywhere from 3 to 4 hours on a daily basis that itself is a big blessing and then the associated cost with your commute also is what you are saving at this point of time uh another thing that i also feel that you know you are also and which i really personally is my favorite is you are getting a healthy and fresh food at home every single day um this is definitely important these days when you when we all are facing severe health crisis right having food at home um and which is healthy uh and it cooked with love and care by our by our parents our spouses our, our brothers and sisters and in some cases friends and roommates so this also is definitely a big big plus for all of us working from home talking about the negatives uh there are many i know there are uh to start with initially i remember when we started working from home a lot of you may uh, or did not have a uh, even the space at home a dedicated space even i actually do not have a dedicated space i created my own space and we have to you know figure out things as we move um secondly i think uh, the it connectivity and technical challenges that most of you faced 
especially given that you know some of you do not have the the internet the connectivity the broadband connectivity some of you are actually working through mobile data and it's not that efficient the speed is not there there is a lot of latency but i know that you are you know, taking these challenges head on and you're doing everything possible to to make sure that you still keep working and you know actually maybe put more hours to, to deliver your daily volumes that you are being assigned by the, your by your leads and supervisors uh, Another thing that I feel sometimes, like obviously, like when you are working at in the office, you know, you are not distracted probably as much as you are distracted at home. I think it's all about the individual, for all of you, to remain focused and not get distracted by other things that happens around in your houses. Um, so these are some of the things that, as as, as we speak, uh, you know, there are. I'm pretty sure I must have missed some of it as well. But on that high level, this is what I feel are some of the positives and negatives of working from home i would really urge you to by now i hope you know you have overcome all the shortcomings and you're looking at now things positively and till near future at least i think by end of april or even hopefully uh, you know we'll go back to office by may first week uh, you will you have now figured out a way to work through your challenges now coming back coming to coming to the next point is about how do you ensure that uh, you know while working from home how do you ensure that you take care of yourself your deliverables and also ensure that you are available to your lead and supervisor and also to your team while you're working remote it's not easy but there are certain uh, guidelines that i can tell you which are probably i can differentiate as do's and don'ts um, some of the Things. Let's talk about yourself first. Each of us, what can you do uh, to make sure that you remain focused on your work? First thing is uh, you always make sure that you you start at a specified time, and you remain uh, available to your team lead during those times. And as soon as you log in in the morning or whenever your shift time starts, you ensure that you tell or kind of uh, reach out to your immediate supervisor that yes i am available i have started my work and if there are any challenges please let me know second thing is um, if at all i mean if some people i know in at least in, i know remember working in office some people actually do love to hear music uh, that's perfectly fine uh, if that helps you to calm down and be focused and be uh, uh, be dedicated towards your deliverables then I don't think that should be a problem but keep in mind that whatever music you play uh, does not hamper your speed or latencies in some cases it may especially if you're using mobile data uh, stay away from distractions which I would say uh, like uh, you know, watching TV while working watching uh, any kind of uh, online flat online um, movies or uh, you know, going into the social media channels and more kind of finding out what is going on in the world. This is definitely not, you definitely are welcome to do it do when you take your breaks, do that. But when you are working, it's absolutely essential that you remain focused on your work and give your 100% while you're doing so. Uh, especially in, the, in these days when the news are, some of the news are actually not really exciting to kind of read or watch. So that's one recommendation I would say that do not you know, interact or get into any of these social media channels. Um, another thing that I would also recommend is, uh, is while you're working from home, I'm pretty sure your parents, your spouses, your brothers, sisters, or your in-laws may be interested in what you do. And uh, I think it's, I highly recommend and in fact urge you to, to give them a glimpse of your day-to-day -day work. I think that will give them a good idea that what we do and how complex things that we do. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, some of the, some of our uh, you know younger uh, generation probably may not understand that the kind of complex functions that we perform for some of our clients. And at the same time, I think you know working from home, we are now also looking at hiring friends and family in near future. And working from home becoming a permanent uh, solution uh, moving here onwards so if they're interested 
who knows they can be the next next one employee and you know, i think we are welcome to join the next world family uh, it's always uh, you know uh, welcome to see you know extended families and friends in in next world now as far as don'ts you know as much as you re- really be flexible that gives you working from home gives you flexibility but at the same time uh, you know don't be very very uh, rigid as this, as well um try to be available as and when required by your immediate supervisor and uh, one important thing is a big 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 warning uh, of probably a caution to all of you is you should not be taking pictures and videos of the systems when they are on there is a lot of confidential information data that we work with uh, and that can get jeopardized if we really take pictures and videos while we are working so yes you can take pictures but only when the system is off uh, also at the same time i would really uh, depending upon the process in some cases but generally do not disclose any confidential information to your friends while you are working and especially when i'm talking about this name of the clients name of the projects or name of the borrowers their addresses and all of that there is already most of you not most of you all of you actually have have signed a non disclosure agreement where you are you are supposed to not share this information with anybody else so please keep that in mind and uh, work along in, in this fashion um uh, now how do you care for your supervisor right i mean as much as we all think the supervisor has to take care of the team but at the same time the team also has to take care of the supervisors uh, which means that you know you should reach out to your supervisor as and when you as i said when you log in first time and maybe throughout the day at least once or twice you should check out with them and see how if there are any challenges if the team needs any help other than your own responsibilities you definitely reach out to your supervisors and then give your assistance as and when possible but at the same time um, you know you have to maintain balance that you don't just uh, you know nag your 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 supervisor every you know 30 minutes uh, you know you all know that you know super, your immediate supervisor does not have just one member team he may have 5 10 15 and in some cases even 20 members in his team and as much as it's a challenge for you it's challenging for him or her as well to manage teams remotely so limit your interaction definitely interact but try to limit if you are well versed with your processes if you're well versed with uh, you know with all the different scenarios then you should definitely uh, limit your interaction and give your assistance and help offer your help and assistance to your student supervisor this will definitely you know be appreciated and also noticed by your immediate supervisor now how how can you uh, really uh, show that you care for the team i mean teamwork is is as important uh, as an office is also as important as while work from home scenario as well so i think i mentioned before is try to you know reach out to supervisor and see what the team needs but at the same time you can also reach out to your own teammates just like you were sitting right next to each other right you can reach out to them through the instant messaging or through the whatsapp and you know ask for or I'll give give assistance and offer for help especially when uh, when you have and you know that there are certain members in the team who must have recently joined may be struggling with the process they may have a lot of clarifications they may have a lot of training that is required so in these cases uh, this help will definitely be appreciated by your supervisor and also by the team um, but at the same time you know like we all do at i know that we some of you at least do is when you go out on a break you also take others along with you uh, please don't do that when you are working remotely don't ping your uh, don't ping your colleagues and or your teammates frequently you know they are also trying to you know deliver on their slas on a daily basis they are also working under extreme challenges and you don't know what exactly situation they may have at work at or at their homes so please uh, you know offer your assistant but maintain a balance with your teams and colleague now i also want to touch base a little bit about you know do's and don'ts about 
your systems that have been assigned uh, you know, a lot of you have been given a company uh, com- uh, next files systems with some of you have got desktops some of you have laptops you have to ensure that you, when you return this it is given in the same condition so you're responsible to, to for the for the keep of this system that has been given to you um, so what do you do you know i mean this has been already three weeks now some of you are working from home so you have to ensure that you keep the systems uh, clean uh, it's pretty much the same protocol that we follow at home at, at, at work is do not uh, eat or drink near your system make sure that is your system is placed where well, there is a lot of air and uh, there is no dust accumulating these are some of the small small tips and one la- one important thing is uh, you know do not do not keep the systems on always after your work is done turn off your systems this will save you electricity but at the same time uh, you know, it will also save your systems from any untoward power fluctuations which may happen which nobody has control on the, on it right and i know a lot of areas in india have lot of power fluctuation unless until you have a surge protector uh, even in any in that case as well i think it's better to turn off the systems when it's not in use um, and clean your systems with 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 a safe cloth or like, or like any other electronic devices that you would use but remember do not use water or spray water on your system that can seriously seriously harm the systems um i believe that's pretty much it uh i think uh, i've covered a lot i hope uh, you're able to grasp some of it uh, last but not the least uh, what i would like to tell all of you that this has been tough times for everyone uh, we are working from home because there were there were unsung heroes in nextwell who did above and beyond their duty uh, and i think there are people both in bangalore and calcutta who worked for 24 30 hours non stop to ensure that all the systems we have got 370 systems which were uh, shipped in across both the locations uh in one day or probably even in one night this was not easy this was a complete uh hard work by the it help desk i think we should all be thankful to anshuman and his team who did a fantastic job and also the housekeeping team the admin team uh and even the security team who went above and beyond to make sure that the systems were were dismantled they were sh- they were packed and shipped and all the assistance and all the paperwork that was required was kind of put together to ensure this was done in a in a disciplined manner and this is for us to see now how successful we are this is uh, the worst time shows the best character of human beings and this is was what was displayed at next well and across the world as we see it so thank you all uh, for for contributing for going above and beyond i've already seen some of the client appreciation emails and phone calls where they have uh, appreciated our commitment our dedication and i'm pretty sure this is going to go a long long way to to next well and it, and it's going to benefit all of us in the long run so thank you for all of you um, i really really appreciate it so we all will win if we really fight it together and at next well our slogan is get it solved and we will get it solved together thank you very much